Hello everyone, welcome back to Learning English Pro. I'm Jer, your online tutor and guide. In today's video, we're diving into the world of electricians and exploring essential vocabulary relating to this role. If you're a regular follower of my channel, you'll know that the complete word list is in the description waiting for you to revise or if you want to follow along with the video. So with everything in mind, let's get started. Our first term is voltage. Voltage can be measured in volts. This represents the electrical pressure in a circuit. It's the force that pushes an electric current through wires and components. Understanding voltage is important for electrical maintenance as it ensures safety and efficient operation. Next up, amperage. This is measured in amperes and it tells us the flow rate of an electric current in a circuit. It's like the volume of water flowing through a pipe. Electricians need to be aware of amperage to prevent overloading circuits and ensure proper functioning. Let's dive into resistance. Resistance measured in ohms is the opposition to the flow of electricity in a circuit. It determines how much a component or material resists the passage of an electric current. Understanding resistance is important for designing and troubleshooting electrical circuits. Moving on to conduit. In electrical work, a conduit is a protective tube or pipe used to encase electrical wires. It shields the wires from damage and keeps them organized. Conduits are important for safety and maintaining the integrity of electrical installations. Now let's talk about the multimeter. A multimeter is an essential tool for electricians. It can measure voltage, amperage and resistance, making it indispensable for troubleshooting and testing electrical systems. It's like a Swiss army knife for electricians. Grounding is a safety measure that connects electrical systems to the earth. It helps prevent electrical shocks and ensures the safe dissipation of excess voltage. Proper grounding is a must in electrical maintenance. Now, circuit breakers. These devices automatically interrupt the flow of electricity when a fault or overload occurs. They are crucial for protecting electrical systems and preventing electrical fires. A lot of times you will find these circuit breakers at a load center or electrical panel. This is the central distribution point for electrical circuits in a building. Electricians use load centers or electrical panels to control and distribute power throughout a structure. Next on our list is fuses. Fuses protect devices that melt or blow out when there is an overcurrent. They act as sacrificial elements, preventing further damage to the circuit. Electricians often replace fuses as part of their maintenance work. Our next term is conductor. Conductors are materials that easily allow the flow of electricity. In contrast to insulators, which we'll get in a minute, conductors like copper and aluminium or aluminum are commonly used in electrical wiring. Now let's discuss insulation or insulators. These materials are the ones that surround electrical wires to prevent them from coming into contact with other conductive materials. Proper insulation is essential to prevent short circuits. Now let's look at a transformer. Transformers are devices that are used to change the voltage level of an electrical circuit. They play a crucial role in transmitting electricity over long distances and are found in power distribution systems. Moving on to GFCIs or ground fault circuit interrupter. These devices are designed to protect people from electrical shocks. They monitor the current balance between the hot and neutral wires and quickly shut off the power when an imbalance, indicating a ground fault, is detected. Next, we have voltage drop. 
a voltage drop is the reduction in voltage as electricity travels through a circuit. It is a critical consideration for electricians when designing circuits to ensure that appliances receive the required voltage for proper operation. Next up we have Ohm's Law. This states that the voltage across a conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it, provided all physical conditions and temperature remain constant. Ohm's law can be applied in numerous ways in our daily life, including electric heaters, kettles, fans, mobile chargers and fuses. Next we have junction boxes. These boxes are used to protect and connect electrical wires. They serve as a secure enclosure for splices, ensuring safety and organization in electrical installations. Moving on to capacitors. These components store and release electrical energy. They have various applications, including power factor correction, filtering, and timing in electrical circuits. Now, what are these terms AC and DC? Electric current flows in two ways, as an alternating current or AC or direct current DC. The main difference between AC and DC lies in the direction in which the electrons flow. In DC, the electrons flow steadily in a single direction, while electrons keep switching directions going forward and backwards in AC. Now let's discuss diodes. Diodes allow current to flow in one direction while blocking it in another. They are vital in rectifying AC voltage to DC and have numerous uses in electronics. Our next term is current limiter. These devices restrict the amount of current that can flow through a circuit. Electricians use them to prevent excessive current, protecting sensitive components and devices. Inverters convert DC or direct current into AC, alternating current. They are essential for powering appliances that require AC, such as most household devices. And there you have it, our word list of essential terms for electricians. Remember, the complete word list is available in the video description for you. If you found this lesson enjoyable and informative, why not like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel for lots more informative learning content. Click here for a lesson on general tools in English and click here for a lesson on car tools used in car maintenance. That wraps up our lesson folks, so thanks for joining me today and remember, keep learning English like a pro.